Hello and welcome. We're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up, the favorite does it in the Prince Consort feature in Jamaica, but it was not easy in the run to the wire. Trainer Sapit Joseph makes the headlines again. Nine weekend winners for the Barbadian in Florida. And Rachel Blackmore creates history as the first woman to win the Grand National in England. First to Caymanus Spark in Jamaica. A nine-horse field entering the racetrack for the latest 2000 Guinness prep. The Prince Consort Stakes co-champion jockey Dayton Nelson and the red and white silks aboard the favorite. The five-horse further and beyond on a two-race winning streak and out for the first time this season. The betting narrows the contest to just a few entries here. Last year's champion two-year-old further and beyond the heavy one-to-five favorite. Number six Billy Wiz from the Jason Acosta barn and the nine-horse Calculus joined second favorites at six to one odds in the com box. Brian Rickman picks them up down the back stretch. They've left the six, they arrive at the five and make their way now toward the half mile in the Prince Consort Stakes. And further and beyond, the favorite has now snatched that lead. Billy Wiz trying to stay with him. Money Man just in behind him on the rail with T. Brady for company as they leave the half mile marker. A Daddy Jones races next. Calculus has to kick in on the outside. Drunker Jeff left flat footed when the tempo increased. Curlings of fear about to overtake the trailer burn notice. They've left the three, they make their way now toward the final 5-16th, and it's further and beyond tested now by Billy Wiz. They'll come into the lane as a team. Further and beyond under the stick, so too Billy Wiz, and Dane Nelson drifts out a bit, and further and beyond now kicks a length and a half. Billy Wiz continues to stick to the task, but can he catch further and beyond, who will have to fold up as they run toward the final furlong in the Prince Consort Stakes, and Dane Nelson is a super busy man with that right-hand stick. Billy Wiz is a length down, further and beyond just the leader from the game Billy Wiz now beginning to inch forward all the while further and beyond driven to the max Billy Wiz charging up late it's ahead Bob it's close a really riveting finish this the reigning co-champion jockeys at it almost from gate to wire Dane Nelson on the inside applying right hand whipping to further and beyond left handed encouragement by Thomas on the outside aboard Billy Wiz and it's further and beyond by a short head at the finish as the 1-5 to five favorite for his third win in a row, Billy Wiz brave in defeat at 6-1 to one odds. Calculus also at 6-1, to one, a further 3-3 three three quarter lengths back in third. 1 minute 26 seconds, even the winning time for seven furlongs for a non-Jamaican owners group of two Ghanese, Vikram Odit and Rajendra Punai, Trinidadian Rodden Prasad and Hall of Fame owner Elas Halut from Barbados. By Blue Pepsi Lodge out of the Graham Hall, Mayor Rumble. This colt is full brother to last year's champion, three-year-old filly above and beyond. A third win in the last six Prince Consort races. This for the champion trainer, Anthony Baba Nunes, following Tuna Ciliata in 2019 and Halut's Siempre Bueno, scoring in 2015. And coming off a three-month break, Nunes more than happy with the colt's return. I was actually very satisfied. There were some people, including some of the partnership, who were, were a little worried that he only won by a short head. But we spoke about going in that we really hadn't wound him up 100% because the Triple Crown series is long and tiring. So we're going to try and time him as best as I can for the Guineas in June. So I think this was just a part of the stepping stone. Um, you know, he's, he's he was going seven furlongs off of a three and a half month layoff. I really never drilled him in the mornings. And, and he showed me something extra, which is what I didn't know how he would react is if he was faced with a fight. And he most certainly showed the quality that you want in a good horse. Meanwhile, in between race meets, Supreme Ventures Racing and Entertainment Limited embarked on sanding and regrading exercises at the Caymanus Park racetrack this week. This ahead of the forced adjustment to the racing schedule following the government's new weekend lockdown measures. The curfew hours in effect from 4 p.m. local time. Saturday's meet now will have the very, very early first race post of 9.15, while Sunday's scheduled meet has been shifted to Monday. To Florida now, where there's a super weekend to report on for trainer Safi Joseph Jr. As many as nine winners for the Barbadians starting on Friday with a win each at Gulfstream Park and Tampa Bay Downs, followed by five wins on Saturday, four of them at Gulfstream Park, another at Tampa Bay Downs, and then there was a Sunday double at Gulfstream Park. Joseph's biggest weekend win, not only in purse, but betting odds, came in Sunday's maiden special weight, U.S. $47,000 second race, just half an hour after he had also won the day's first race. Check Joseph's 10 horse, cultured at 22 to 1, the second longest shot in the field in fourth, and getting ready to pounce on the leaders. Three wide, no how. 
Carvajal and Edwin Gonzalez charging to take the lead into the clear and now charging as Culture down the center in vintage style. Still many chances here. Cultured closing good ground for Hector Barrios and Cultured is now taking the lead. Vintage style tries to outrun her then Champagne Ivy who's on late. It's vintage style trying to get Cultured but Cultured has the lead and Cultured wins at 22 to 1. Cultured by a length gets the huge upset win for Safi Joseph under a confident ride from Hector Berrios, the 6-5 favorite. Champion Ivy only good for third. 129.12 the winning time for the 7.5 furlong trip on turf. This the last of Joseph's sweep of seven Gulfstream Park weekend wins in a fabulous early run in the six-month-long spring-summer season that runs on till late September. With an awesome current winning rate of 43%, Joseph has shot to the top of the trainers' championship race with 10 wins as a defending champion, and he is seven clear of his nearest rivals. Across the Atlantic now to England's Grand National that produced one of the most memorable finishes in the race's history. The outstanding jockey Rachel Blackmore becoming the first woman to win the world-famous marathon steeplechase. Here they are, nearing the end of the four and a quarter mile run at Aintree Racetrack in Liverpool. Blackmore aboard Manila Times in the green and gold silks, just about surging to the front on the penultimate jump. Manila Times who just picked up in front there with any second now as they head down towards the last in the national. Balco de Flo on the far side for Aidan Coleman. On the right hand side, Manila Times for Rachel Blackmore. Any second now is now pulled out to deliver a challenge in third, but over the last in the national, it is Manila Times who leads them towards the elbow. Three or four lengths clear from Ridden in second place, Balco de Flo. Any second now and Burrow Sait, Rachel Blackmore heads towards the elbow with 200 yards between herself and an Aintree victory. Balco de Flo and Eddie Second now are about five lengths down, 150 yards to go. Manella Times, Rachel Blackwell still five lengths clear and it is Manella Times who is keeping up the gallop towards the line. Manella Times, Rachel Blackmore raises the bar still higher. Oh yes, what a moment for Rachel Blackmore steering Manella Times to victory by six and a half lengths for trainer Henry de Bromhead in the Grand National, clocking 9 minutes 15.42 seconds, and uh, the 31-year-old could hardly find the words to express the joy of her historic achievement. You, you just, it, it's unimaginable, it's an unimaginable feeling. You can't, you can't get even close to it, dreaming about how it would feel until it actually happens, you know, and I don't think I can even put into words how that does feel, you know. It was as recent as 1975 that women were allowed to ride in the Grand National. Blackmore breaks down one of the biggest gender barriers in sport with this win in the 173rd edition of the Grand National. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.